Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here on Saturday the 8th of February. Thanks again for watching weatherweb.net. A uh, bit of a hairy few hours ahead really. Um, it's looking like it uh, really is going to be uh, quite a windy one as we go through the next few hours. Let me uh, just show you what I mean here. Um, you can see here the strong winds uh, surrounding this low that's uh, off the western parts of Ireland there. And what we're going to find is uh, that low gradually uh, moving its way northeastwards over the next few hours. Now it's through this evening and overnight you see there the uh, strongest of the winds are across uh, more southern parts of the country there and it looks as if uh, they're going to be bringing some really severe gales uh, during the course of the evening and through the course of tonight as well. Now uh, as we just move on through the sequence let's just see what's going on. These charts by the way from the uh, GFS model at Weather Online and um, a couple of things just to notice on here, and really what I want you to pick up first of all is this system coming in on Tuesday. Now, this one's causing some problems because as it comes in, there is the threat that just on its leading edge here, we could find some periods of snow uh, associated with that. I think at the moment it looks like it's going to be mainly over high ground, but it's, it's probably one that we just need to watch very closely, I think, as that system comes in. Uh, then uh, heading into uh, Wednesday, the next of the real hits coming uh, into Wednesday and Thursday, significant totals of rain coming through again, only adding to those flooding problems. And then following in behind that, yet another system coming in for Friday. And look, that's almost a repeat of exactly what we're seeing this weekend, isn't it? Look, we've got the deep low in here. We've got the strong winds down to the south through here. I mean, it really is just almost a repeat performance of, of today. Back come the gales once again. Um, however, watch what happens later in the sequence, OK? What you've got to watch is the date here, OK? So keep your eye on the date just there. And notice that as we go through look at this ridge of high pressure building in here okay keep your eye on that ridge of high pressure and see what the GFS does it then builds the high through and by the 18th yes we do get this flow coming back south again so we do get this flow coming back in from the northeast but the interesting thing is that that high then builds its way back in once again and the GFS is trying to hint at this building pressure. Now, <laughs> who's been talking about the building pressure from the 18th or 19th onwards? I'll just wallow in the glory for a short while because, of course, this could all change again. But it's just interesting to see that this is what is trying to be built in by the model now. It sees this area of high pressure coming in. So it'll be interesting to see how this develops over the next few days. Now, of course, that's the um, GFS uh, ensemble model. This is the ECMWF and well, this is from weatherweb.net so if we just click through um, you notice here the times by the way for these charts are along here and these are in 24 hour steps so as we just click on through here look um, what you'll notice is there's our area of low pressure passing north very similar setup actually um, over the coming days there we are getting in towards next week and and look you see, this also is trying to build this ridge into the south from about the 18th onwards. So it also sees this system trying to come in. So it's seeing very, very similar things. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then, well, after that, not too sure because the uh, ECMWF only goes ahead 10 days. But it's just interesting to pick up on that. The Canadian making far less of it. If we just go through uh, the Canadian chart, you'll notice that the, the ridge never really gets in. Although it does hint, <coughs> excuse me, at it trying to get in here for a short time. But um, not really going that far on it. Just not wanting to make that much uh, of that system in the same way that the ECMWF wants to. Uh, the GFS Ensemble looking like this. That also has the lows coming in, low after low after low, and then, look, it starts to build the ridge out in the Atlantic around the 16th. And then, what it does is, it builds the ridge back through the country very tentatively. So it's showing us that actually, not all of the models, not all of the runs agree, but there is this signal that 
that ridge of high pressure is somewhere around that zone. So it's trying to hint that it's there. It's just trying to choose the time uh, correctly as to when that high tries to get in. Now, the mean of the um, the uh, 7 to 10 day uh, mean of the 500 mil of our flow, we've got the ECMWF on the left here, and we've got the uh, GFS on the right here. Both of them basically the same. Jet screaming across the Atlantic, look, but GFS makes more of the ridge and eases up the jet across the UK late on in the period. And again, the GFS more bullish on the idea of the high than the ECMWF. The ECMWF a little bit later. I have to say that out of the two, I actually favour this one more. I favour the uh, ECMWF more because it's a bit slower. What you can tend to find is that the um, ECMWF does try to make things come through a little bit too quick. So it's not particularly unusual to, to see that uh, in the uh, in the model. The CFS on the weeklies, if we just click on to um, the, uh, the weekly forecast from the CFS, so we'll go on to uh, weeks three and week four. You've got to twist your head around for this, but um, if you look, so, you know, just move your head around. If you look here, there's the British Isles. So this is week three, and this is 21st to the 27th, okay? And notice it's then clearing out the low, the normal heights into the Atlantic to the west, building heights down towards the uh, south, and trying to build them north. Now, remember, this is the mean of the week, okay? So it will be that average of the of the whole of the week. You have to bear that in mind. But then if we look at week four, look what that does. It's built higher than normal heights right the way through the country. Now, that one probably isn't exactly the way that it's going to be, but I think it's going to be fairly close to that. So actually, you know what? It looks as if um, my idea of the high around the 18th and the 19th is being backed up by the models. It's a building story. That's not to change to say it can't be blown completely out of the water. But the idea is uh, is definitely there. So we'll be watching it, won't we, over the next few days to see what happens. Anyway, I'll leave you with that for now. Loads of information there for you. Um, whatever you're doing, have a great day. Uh, keep the uh, keep the sun shining if you can, and uh, keep tuned to uh, the latest happenings as well, particularly if you're in a flood-prone area. But for now, thanks for watching, and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.